A GOP candidate for Missouri governor is campaigning on deporting every undocumented immigrant in the state. It is his stance at least one of his opponents says is unrealistic. Our John Kipper details Eigel's plan and how much it could cost you, the taxpayer. State Senator Bill Eigel came into this studio Wednesday and said he would declare an invasion in this state and get the National Guard and law enforcement to round up and remove undocumented immigrants. I think it's going to be a handful to get the job done, but I think it needs to be done. Jim Morgan, not balking at the idea of deporting every undocumented immigrant from Missouri. It costs a lot of money. It costs a lot of infrastructure and things like that that we don't have. Gubernatorial candidate State Senator Bill Eigel outlined his course of action. We'll empower the National Guard, the Highway Patrol, and every sheriff in every county of the state to detain individuals suspected of being here illegally. Eigel says if elected, the state would transport undocumented migrants to another state or the nearest border entry. He adds the state's budget is over $50 billion, and he can find the money to pay for the deportations. Eigel even put it in a TV ad. Washington will fight us. Judges will defy us. Judges don't defy you. You defy judges. Javad Kazali is a St. Louis immigration attorney. In the past, he prosecuted immigration cases for the federal government. He says there's no way to track undocumented immigrants. So police and National Guard troops would have to seek them out. We would have guys with machine guns walking down the streets of America, looking at people, seeing if they don't think that they look like they're Americans. He also says the only legal way to do this would be taking individuals to immigration detention facilities and going through due process, potentially costing the state billions and prioritizing them over worse foreign offenders. So you're gonna inundate the court system with people who are here just working and not go after the gang members, not go after people who are molesting children. First Alert 4 also spoke with one of Eigel's Republican opponents this week, Lieutenant Governor Mike Keogh. There's not like a list of undocumented aliens running around the state that you can find. He was skeptical of the idea, but also says if police pick up an undocumented immigrant during regular duty. We want to give them the tools to be able to send them back. And we tried to reach the other major GOP contender in the race, Secretary of State Jay Ashcroft. We have not yet heard back, but he did post on X last month saying we need to close the border, build the wall and deport every single illegal. Reporting in studio, John Kipper, First Alert 4. While it's impossible to know how many undocumented immigrants are in Missouri, the Census Bureau estimated eight years ago up to 60,000 are in the state. An immigration activist group estimated last year that number is around 77,000.